Welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. We're back again. This is not me. I like to create a new user. N O H YouTube 1. Because I already have a no clue of YouTube. Go to options. Turn on this. I've tried this one before, but it completely glitched out. But now we're trying it again. So make sure to like, subscribe, and go follow me on Rumble. As this time we'll try to finish Plants vs. Zombies. Man, I love this game. Plants vs. Zombies games are always my favorite. The only ones that are bad were Plants vs. Zombies 3 and Battle for Neighborville. It kind of sucks. I mean, they could have done much worse, but it's not the worst. They could have done way worse. Are coming. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's level one. You literally can't lose unless you do nothing. Alright. Now we unlock Sunflower, the most overpowered plant in the game. It gives you additional sun. Was you actually recently I got a new tea container thingy? It's, um, glass. We got this, like, lavender tea or something. It tastes really bad unless you drink it constantly. The more I'm drinking it, the better it tastes. Because originally it used to taste like hand soap. Now it's not. It doesn't taste like hand soap at all. I mean, the zombie won't spawn for a while as long as we don't do this. I mean, I want to get at least 200 sun, I think, before I go. There we go. Because now the zombie will spawn in one of these rows here. And then I'll have enough for a pea shooter and as many sunflowers as I want. Because now the timer starts ticking down. Yep, see? Because I'm pretty sure you can literally just wait here and stall for about two minutes. It's just collecting sun before it actually sends a zombie at you. It's like that for every level, until you place down three sunflowers. Yeah, but if, the, if this series does get popular, I might do challenge runs. Those are very, very popular, you know, like, um... No sunflowers. Only mushrooms. Only nuts. Of course, that'd be restricted to literally two plants. Only pea shooter as my attacking plant. No other attacking plant, just pea shooter. Right. One more pea shooter, and then we're fine. We can win this entire level. And the best strategy in the game is so they put down like four rows of sunflowers and just use like insta plants and chompers. Make a wall of chompers and constantly put down instas. There we go, and we win. I'm not gonna place anything down anymore. Remember the first time I played this game, I, I hated if I finished a level and it was not perfectly like this. It was not like perfect. Like all the rows have the same plant in them. But now I don't really care as much. It still bothers me just a little. But yeah, it's level two done. Let's go on to the next one. We got Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb's kinda useful, especially the end of waves just to clear everybody up. Especially here, because I'm pretty sure we don't get this top and bottom lane yet. I mean, they're even better. Can't I... Just 
slightly louder music. Not sure how loud the music actually is. It might be a bit too loud. Who knows? Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of playing, um, plans for zombies. Alright, now we just need one more sun. Come on. Come on, guys. Just, just one more. Useless. I, I, I kind of wish there was like a speed up button, like right here. Just, just make it slightly faster. Yeah, so that, that, that zombie's gonna get a bit closer than we would like. Come on, just one more sun. Uh, but I think we'll be fine if the zombie gets to like anywhere, like right here or here. I'll place in a sunflower in front of him. More zombies here than there is normally. So there we go. Now we have three peaches in every lane. We don't have to worry about anything. Wait, so yeah, so we're just gonna be placing down some flowers here. I also hate it when the peaches attack at slightly different times. Also, uh, pea shooter versus catapult. If you want pea shooter to be better than catapult at literally every range, place them here. One second to if, you, if pea shooter is placed on all the way on this side of the lawn, it takes one second. Placed here it takes half a second. No, it's two seconds from here to here. One second from here to here. The closer the zombie gets, the more damage we're actually dealing to him. Which is a little bit interesting. Because the closer he is, the sooner the P hits. The ant's actually faster trying to kill the closer the enemy is to us. Uh, for Cabbage Pole, no matter where you put him, it's one second. He could be right in front of the enemy, he could be on the other side of the lawn. And if you literally have like a line right here that you don't have anything to do with, then yeah, you could place. Um, cabbage Pole's back there. But Skater Shroom just be a better option. Although I don't really like Skater Shroom. Skater Shroom's just a pretty good card to bring along. A good seat back yet. There we go. Blocks off zombies and protects other plants. One, it's a useless. It's better to just place down more sun producers. At least early game. Later game, wall it's a really good stalling plant. But. Early game, it's kind of bad. Late game, good, but early game, bad. But even then, there's an entire plant, there's no zombies that just bypass the walnuts, even in these first areas. I wish that Sunflower gave you like 50 sun or had like less of a cooldown. Anyways, I'm willing to do this here because I know what I'm doing. I'm a genius after all. See? And the feature will kill. So from here, it takes about 0.75 seconds to hit him. Versus here is um, half a second. Versus here is no time at all. You know, I think I'll stall this guy off and just ignore him. So I can place some more sunflowers. See, walnut is good in certain scenarios, but in the scenarios I use the walnuts, it's just a worse. It's, it's just a worse pea shooter. There we go. See, stalled him long enough to get two rows of sunflowers. Although, if you are having trouble beating the game, again, just use a, a strategy where you just place down insta-plants and use tons of sunflowers. Four rows. Though you can place pea shooters, like, in the middle of the row and cut it off. That's what I'm doing right now, if I actually make it to the four rows. Which I probably won't. Of course, the twin sunflower becomes easier because you only have two here, but that's a while till we're gonna get twin sunflower. Uh, walnut here for a small bit of protection. Now, unfortunately, we can't dig up plants here, so walnuts are just gonna be dead forever. 
Sunflowers sort of act like shields, so what you can do is two lines of peach shooters here, uh, two lines of sunflowers there and there. Or you can place your peach shooters all the way in the back and place sunflowers in the third row going forwards. Being that's four rows of sunflowers that have to through, and then the front line is for either walnuts or insta plants to be placed down to clear big hordes of zombies. Although, again, putting the peachers in the back does lower their damage slightly, they can do per second. Because they shoot about every second. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Yeah, it's about once every second. So then again, humans are very bad at keeping track of time correctly. And we have 500 sun. What do we do with it? I don't know. Start spamming down plants. All right, now actually, I'm pretty sure this guy actually does do some. He makes all zombies walk faster. Anyways. We win. Look at how poor this looks, but it's, it still works. Often the most effective strategies you can do in this game probably look the worst. Come on, just die already. There we go. We got a shovel. We have a shovel now. Let's see Jacob plants to make room for another. Blabby wobble. Greetings, neighbor. The name's Crazy Dave. But you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. But first, I need you to clear your lawn. Use that shovel to dig up these plants. And let the digging commence. You know, I always thought Crazy Dave was a really smart guy. Okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling! Here, take this walnut. Why'd I put a walnut in your hands? Because I'm crazy! Now go bowl me a winner. Yeah, Crazy Dave is a genius. Because clearly all these zombies are vegetarians for health purposes. But they don't realize that being a vegetarian is just not healthy. And that plants aren't meant to be eaten and have defense mechanisms. That way you don't eat them. Which are bad for your health. Okay, come on. I should have waited for that one, but... No, apparently I shouldn't have. Ah, uh, just barely missed him. This is how you guys should go bowling in real life. Against the uh, vegetarians who are coming because they heard that you ate a burger on your social media. Like, oh, he ate a burger. Let's go kill him. Because that is the obvious reaction of every single vegetarian who has ever lived. The moment they hear someone eat meat. Unless, of course, you're just a vegetarian because you don't want to hurt animals, which I'm perfectly fine with. But then again, these vegetarians who don't want to hurt animals often don't understand that some animals would simply be extinct if we didn't hunt them, and deers would overpopulate and eat all the food, and then they'd all starve to death, and deers wouldn't cease to exist. It weren't for the fact that we hunted them. It's gonna be so easy. I'm gonna hit this guy up with a walnut. Also, did you know that cashews and pecans are both related to poison ivy? And like some baseball team ate uh, untreated um, cashews and ended up in the hospital. Because it secretes the same liquid that poison ivy does, it makes your skin really itchy and gives you a rash. You know, I've actually touched Poison Ivy before. Although not really, it was my pants. I used to live in Wisconsin, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yes, yeah, so about the last time I talked about mainly pizza, I actually went back last, um, Sunday it was. No, Saturday. Pizza, pepperoni pizza. Ten dollars for the large size. Yeah, so here we can just place on the potato vine and continue paying on sunflower things. Yeah, so we got an extra pizza this time. Bought an extra pizza and, uh, store pizzas and some chicken wings, which is $52. Uh, pizzas are $10 each. Chicken wings are like $16 or something like that. Or $12. I don't remember. I think it came out $54, so I think it was $14 for the chicken wings. We got 16 piece boneless chicken wings. Hey, it's the best chicken wings I've ever had. Because, like, the, the chicken was not tough. And the breading was not like chicken nugget breading. It was like good. It was crispy. And then we got buffalo sauce, and we opted to buy an extra sauce as well, which was the Parmesan one. Honestly, the buffalo sauce is a bit better than the Parmesan one. I didn't really like it. My mom did, but I didn't. So I had the buffalo sauce. It was really good buffalo sauce. This is what I thought. But yeah, it's really good. I recommend going to Mainly Pizza, and this is not sponsored at all. It's just really good pizza. And really good chicken wings. Best I've ever had for the price. And probably just the best I've ever had. You know, again, the best thing to do in this game is just place down... Hundreds of sunflowers. You can even alternate rows like this. Because again, the sunflower is actually like a sort of shield. It does not last too long, the sunflower shield. But it's effective nonetheless. A zombie's still gonna take a while to walk through a field of sunflowers. Alright? Also, I purposely messed this one up. Alright, sunflower there. And the technically this does make the damage here slightly worse than it does here. But oh well. It also means that plants are less likely to get eaten and there's more sustained damage when they actually get closer. Here is less sustained damage, versus here is more. Look, see? Conan's gonna get here, and he would've walked right over to the pea shooter and ate him. He might've even lost the pea shooter there. But thanks to my wall of one million sunflowers, we didn't just survive. We won. Boom. Look, see? Now he's stuck eating the sunflower. Me and he'll die to the bee shooter, which he would have gotten to us otherwise. See, I'm so good at this game. Like Snoopy's one of the best plants ever. Back row, any row, just one row of Snoopy. Freeze all the zombies, slow them down. The first is where we see bucket heads. No, next way it must be bucket heads then. But is it gonna be doing one world per video? But potato mines is probably the second best plant in the game. Act two. Alright, zombie is coming, bottom lane. I'll place the potato mine right there. It'll activate before it gets there. And it's not making him walk so long that another zombie is going to spawn in the same lane as often. Also, if you get rid of a uh, walk more in a lane, there's a... The zombies don't spawn there for some of these early waves, so you can actually hit them all in one lane, I'm pretty sure. Imagine winning the game with only spike weed. Is that even possible? I don't think so. Alright, fine. We'll place down a base shooter. Didn't want to, but alas, we have to. Also, I wish I could click specific keys and just have it instantly give me the sunflower. I could just press 2 and bam, sunflower in my hand. Yeah, mainly pizza is the best pizza 
I've ever had. So you find yourself in Southern Utah to search the place up. It's really good. And on Saturdays, you can get pizza for less. So yeah, put around your pizza. And they also sell fried ice cream. This is when we were there, they were selling fried ice cream there. Which, I don't know what fried ice cream is. Like, how do you fry ice cream? It's literally iced. Yeah. Wall plants are kind of a waste of money. And honestly, just sheer damage is worth more. Which Snoopy effectively basically doubles the damage of all damage does in the lane by slowing down the zombies to like half speed. Look, this zombie corpse ain't going nowhere. He's frozen and he's dead. That's a combo that means you win the game. I have this wall of sunflowers as well because the ice effect causes them to eat slower. We cannot lose to wave 7 here unless there's a bucket head or a football zombie, which there isn't. Cause look. He's not gonna be moving out of that tile. Like, he's not gonna make it to here. Normally he'd probably make it all the way down here. But he's not going very far. And now we can add in our second row of pea shooters. In front of them a sunflower. Alright, they're all dead. Now a huge wave of zombies is approaching. This is our first uh, double wave. Quite dangerous, quite deadly if you don't know what you're doing. But I do. I remember when I first played this game, a level after I unlocked Chomper, I could not win. Also, originally I thought Chomper sucked and that's why I was losing, but it turns out that you just need to have three rows of sunflowers, or sometimes even four. Then we can afford all the instas you want. Although useless now, it's quite effective in the future. It makes it basically impossible to lose. Just sunflowers act as shields in between rows. Everything just works out. He's actually gonna jump over that potato mine. But I think we hit him with a frozen pea first. Meaning, yeah, see, normally if you placed a walnut there, he would have got past. Started eating one of your three rows of pea shooters in the front or something like that. But now he just chooses a sunflower. We're actually gonna delete. Because now she's too weak. Place down a new one in case another zombie happens to make past there. Get rid of this. Good thing as well is because Sunflower has such a fast recharge time, if Sunflower does get destroyed, we can just place down another one. Even damaged, really easy, fast recharge time, and she generates sun for us. Look at this. We have more sun than we need. Trying to place down another row of Sunflowers. As obviously they're never making it to these mines. This will slow him down. We'll never make a pass. Because now I can actually place down walnuts. This also really slows down Pogo Vultures because they're really slow as soon as they drop their pole. The pole Vultures. Oh yeah, see, he ate the one sunflower there, but it doesn't really matter. We got enough sun out of him. Just put Snow Pea there because I want to. Wait for them all to spawn in. Wait now. And there goes half the wave. Here, take this. This is your internal reward. Forever. Like, yeah, Doomstream's really good because you can just not build up here and then just use Doomstream up here by the time you get them back. We have like three holes in the lawn and all the zombies are dead. And... Yeah. Alright, so now we got Chomper, which is really what makes this strategy shine. 
Now, it's either Potato Mine or Snow Pea. To be honest, we don't really need Pea Shooter here. Because now we have the strategy. We have it. Also, it's best to put Sunflower here first, because you can put him down like a half a second faster, and that, that makes all the world a difference. If you can place down your Sunflower half a second faster, you just win the game by default. Literally just says, you win in big bold letters that are green, saying a zombie ate your brains. But if you translate that into English, it actually means you win, you're the best player ever. Alright, another sunflower. Also, I'll show in this series a way to infinitely farm money in case you want infinite money in this game. You'll need walnut repair. And that's it. And mini games unlocked. Alright. Now, Snoopy does cost like double the amount, but she does double the damage of normal pea shooter. Normal pea shooter, he's not that good. Snoopy, she's amazing. Yeah, this whole strategy is just insta spamming. So what we really need is like four rows of um, sunflowers, you know. Just four rows. It's not that much, I know. You know what? I'll just do this. I don't really need a potato mine there. Because Chomper is just an insta that if he survives, you can reuse him. Now this might look bad, but I swear we're doing golden. Just look at that recharge time on Chomper. We can place another one down in like five seconds flat. And if you have four rows of Sunflower, bam. Chomper after Chomper after Chomper, none of them are getting past. Look at that, already back. And now he's done. Now we have our Insta back. And if he dies, oh well. We can place another one down. It's quite cheap. And that, that bucket has actually been installed there, so there's no reason to actually kill him. You can technically win with really just Instas at this point. Because Chomper is an Insta plant. Well, semi Insta. Ch imagine Chomper is a more expensive potato mine that has multiple uses, but can only kill one zombie at a time. And is sort of really effective if you placed on wall plants, but potatoes, potatoes, who cares? Also, who else thought that uh, walnut was actually a potato? I always thought walnut was a potato, back when I couldn't read. First played this game, I had trouble reading. But now I'm so good at reading, I can read words I've never heard before. They're like 15 letters wrong. Not wrong, but long. Well, I guess they could be wrong, depending on who wrote it. Well, we need more sunflowers. We need more money. Look, you, do, you can just win by doing this. It's not exactly the most fun strategy in the game. Just placing down, um... And even better, you can just slow down zombies with it never make it. Oh, that huge wave of zombies. Oh no, whatever shall we do? If only half of the entire wave could instantly disappear in just a single button click. Where did they go? No one knows. And when you look at that, we just win the level. My goodness! That was so easy. We didn't even really need pea shooters there. You can just wait if sunflowers, chompers, and a few starting installing plants like potato mine. Repeater will actually take now instead of, um... Uh... Snow pea. And then we'll take all the same things before, but this time, sunflower first. This, that, this, that. Uh, we really actually don't need this, so I'll actually grab this as well. Just in case of emergencies. We'll break the glass, grab the snow pea, place them on the ground, and freeze the zombies. Then we'll send them on a one-way ticket to the South Pole, part of an expedition team. We'll freeze to death.
Although, since they're zombies and they're like dead because they're vegetarians and they died because they thought it was healthy for them and forgot to take their supplements. Because I eat a very balanced diet, you know, of mostly meat. I'm a very healthy person, go on hikes very often as I can, unless it's 172 degrees outside. And the only vitamins I take is vitamin C. That way I don't get scurvy. Because I don't like eating fruits. I think I'm like allergic to like fruits or something. Because whenever I eat any form of fruit, my mouth and tongue and throat start burning. Wherever the fruit touched me, I just burn. Even my hands will just burn. That's why I don't eat fruits. Because I can't. Brains. It burns my throat, my tongue, my mouth, my hands. It burns for quite some time as well. Uh, no, this is where we just start the chomper. Chomper thon. How many chompers can we play us down in one hour? Who knows? Someone count down below in the comment section how many sunflowers did I put down? And how many chompers did I put down? I'm not actually going to review this, so as long as it's a reasonable number that's above two, I'll believe yes. And I don't know. If you do that, um, then your reward is you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel, or uh, the zombies will uh, invade your lawn, and they'll use a uh, weed killer and kill all your plants. And then, because they're vegetarians, they'll eat you. Of course, if you just have a hamburger and throw it out, then they'll run away because they're so scared of it, you know? I have the French will never arrive. They'll just stumble over their own two feet and die. I'm not sure what I have against the bloody French. I don't know why. I just never liked the French. Never have. Also, in like World War I, uh, United States of America gave out loans to everybody. And nobody paid them back besides, I think it was uh, Finland. Or Sweden. No, it was like Finland. Finland paid their loan back. But nobody else did. British, the British paid like 10% of their loan back. And then they all just defaulted on their loans. And then we went into the Great Depression. Yeah. We might win here, we might lose, who knows, who cares. I care, because it depends on the success of this video. I'm showing you guys the ultimate strategy of cherry bombs. Chompers. You like that sunflower? But it'll be fine. What are you should finish? Cheer yeah, there you go. Oh, no, no. One bad thing about chompers, if they're not finished eating, it takes a really long time. You kind of just die. But, uh, you don't need to just have two rows of, um, chompers. You can have four. I'd probably recommend that, honestly. Four rows of sunflowers, four rows of chompers. And since it's so easy to replace chompers, we have four rows of sunflowers. You're just fighting throughout the entire game. And if you have twin sunflowers, you only really need two rows. So that's a lot of investment. Now, unfortunately, those choppers are probably gonna get eaten. Yeah, both of them. But, yeah, it's fine. Because, again, if you really have enough sun and you have a chopper available, you might just consider shuffling one of them to place down another chopper. Man, if I don't finish them off, you're repeater as well. Or even pea shooters. I really want you to place potato mines up here as well, because a few zombies will never make it there. Good thing too is it's an insta-kill. So this is literally just one of the best strategies in the game. Insta-kills. And the only lane you have to keep open is this lane and that lane for cherry bombs. And you just kill whichever one has more zombies or the most threatening zombies. And also, repeaters will mostly take care of any brown coats that happen to get too close to your chompers because of 
minor complications. All right, huge wave of zombies is approaching, and we basically have all of our chompers down. All right, well, killing you because you make all the zombies run faster. Let's we'll blow them up now, then we we'll actually get to use the cherry bomb. And guys, look at that! All the zombies uh, magically disappeared, and they were never heard from again. We we win. Man, that was so difficult. I'm not sure how I won that. I don't think I'll be able to do it, guys. I just don't. I don't think this super stupid strategy is going to win. For no thinking at all, you just placed on chompers. Okay, but this is my least favorite levels are the uh, PVZ 3 levels. Because in Plants vs. Zombies 3, you don't get to choose your seeds. For some reason. I don't know, it's odd. But these are my least favorite levels because you just see a zombie. You place down a plant. You see a zombie, you place down a plant. You have a cherry bomb, you keep it. Although technically, you can actually make sure you only get certain types of plants. So for instance, if I just leave a ton of walnuts in here, I won't get any more walnuts. As the game will decide to give me something else. I mean, the best thing to do for me is not play walnuts, and instead play that cherry bomb there. Keep one cherry bomb, and if it's a walnut, don't play it. It'll eventually stop. If you notice it stops, play something in here. But the more of a certain plant you have, the less likely the game is to give you more. And another cherry bomb. I mean, we're less likely to get cherry bombs now. And we have three, so I'm willing to spend one here. And blow up the bucket head. He wears a bucket on his head, because in this economy, he can't afford anything else. Data mine, just place it down forever, don't really matter. And of course, we're getting 500 billion cherry bombs. Forgot their name for a second, because, like, what are these things called again? Cherry bombs. It's cherry. But I've actually eaten cherries before. Also, I'm pretty sure, although everybody says that a tomato is a vegetable, it does the bloody same thing a fruit does. It's green and unripe, and it tastes terrible. But as it ripens, it tastes good. And it fills with sugars, and gets rid of all its toxins. Which is what a tomato does, that's what a fruit does. So I'm pretty sure a bloody tomato is a fruit. And also, cherry tomatoes make my mouth burn as well, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a fruit. Alright, you guys look at that. That huge wave of zombies just didn't arrive. They probably got the wrong directions on Google or whatever it says, Google Maps. Took a wrong turn and they ended up in Antarctica. I'm like, how did we get here, Jerry? And it turns out Jerry was holding the map upside down. Oh, but this don't look at me front lawn. The front lawn's a bit more yellow than this. Stupid how easy it is. The sound is just a bit too loud for me right now. Everything hitting everything. Another cherry bug. This game's giving away like candy. There you go, every lane has a nice fish shooter in it. Increases the damage by a lot if the zombies could move, but they can't, and they won't, because you can't. Because if you can't do something, you won't, because you just can't do it. 
You see, I'm really bleeding smart. I was actually given an award for being the smartest man ever. That never happened though. It got lost in the mail, as I said. My goodness. Where'd all the zombies go? Nobody knows. Just vanished. And look at that, there's nothing on the conveyor belt. So now I can get this ready for our mass production of lawnmowers. Also, who has five lawnmowers? I have a push lawnmower, not a gas powered one. You just leave the clippings on your lawn. It looks way better. Evening, Noah YouTube one. The zombies just won't let up, will they? You notice their fight the fighting zombies at night is different than in the day. One thing you won't get any sun falling in the sky. You can still get some from sunflowers though. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can and you'll be AO good. Not A OK, AO good. You see, Crazy Dave is really the smartest man alive. If we could all stand to be a little bit more like Crazy Dave, the world would be a much better place. Jumping out of the fog and scaring people, living in bushes, growing a pot in your head, owning a talking camper, time traveling back to ancient Egypt because you wanted to eat the taco you put an entire bottle of hot sauce on. I can relate to that last one. I put hot sauce on basically everything. I put hot sauce on a pancake once, it wasn't too bad. Haven't tried it on a waffle yet. But yeah, I put, I, I put hot sauce on things, it makes it taste better. But that's gonna do it for today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and um, go follow me on Rumble, and I hope you all enjoyed. But that's gonna do it. Next episode we're gonna be continuing level world, world nighttime levels. We're going to be continuing night levels. Level 2-1. Until next time, goodbye and thanks for watching.